everyone welcome back to another video in today's video i'm going to be showing you madam glam's brand new collection here i do have a discount code it's natmug30 but i believe at the moment they've got a sale going on so it won't work um by the way these are not the same colors they are actually different but for some reason i have got two of the same tops two of the same color tops um yeah so it's ignore that <laughs> okay Right, so for the collection, the first one is called Lotus Fever, the second one is called Sahara Dunes, and then the third one is called Honeycomb. I am going to show you me applying one coat of each of the colours to a nail tip. I didn't think it was worth me showing you applying both coats because it's a very similar um process obviously um also madam glam gel polishes these days do need a 60 second cure why am i taking so long to swatch these oh my goodness come on nuts and then the last one of the first three here is a pastel yellow i had a clear out a little while ago of all of my older madam glam gel polish colors because a lot of them they don't have on the website anymore so i didn't have in my collection a pastel yellow so I'm quite happy to see this one in this collection yay <laughs> okay so that's the first coat I don't know if I said but they need a 60 second cure I think I did maybe I didn't I don't know and um, this is what they look like after the second coat they apply so nicely they're like really nice creamy consistency gel polishes I love them uh, and then we've got blue jay the Persian Sea and what's this one called? Rainforest. <coughs> so I'm going to do the same thing. I'll show you how they apply. I'm going to speed it up though and then I will see you in the next part. I know these are only swatches, but I still have to get out any hairs because that really bugs me. So this is the second coat applied. I'm going to pop those in the lamp for 60 seconds. The last of the actual cream colours is this one. It's called the Core. And then we've also got a top coat, which is a like a glittery one, but it's not actually a top coat. It doesn't... I'll, I'll tell you in a minute anyway, but I really like this pink as well. This is a really nice pink. I was... Um, I feel like I was faffing a lot here. <laughs> anyway, that's the first coat on. I will pop that in a lamp and then I'll show you the second coat added. There we go. Look at that color. Oh, it's so nice. Right, this one is called Ocean Pearl No Wipe Top Coat, but it's not no wipe. It's, it's really thick as well. It's, it's got a very thick consistency to it. So it's like, it's it's almost like, um, I want to say like a builder gel kind of consistency, but it's got little flaky specks in it that are really, really cute. But you would need to top coat over the top of this one. They've done this before, Madam Glam have done this before. They called one of their gel polishes a top coat and it was tacky. And I emailed them about it and they said, no, it's actually not a top coat. So they, they, um, I'm not sure why, but for some reason, the, the, they label the gel polish bottles with top coat. And see, this was here. It wasn't like, it wasn't sticky, but it wasn't, it was still like, if you rubbed your finger over it, it would, it, it wouldn't be smooth. Like no wipe top coat is, am I making sense? I don't know. Anyway, I decided to go over with a second coat and I've also top coated it. But I, I've left the, look, I've, I thought if I leave it like that, I can kind of see what it looks like over the top of different colours. If I want to use it over different, do you, you know what I mean? When I want to use it over different colours, I actually like it over this pink. I really like it over the blue and the light pink. I don't know if it's showing off very well. 
because there's a slight gap between the two where the, when I put the two swatches together. I really liked it over this light pink. I thought it looked really nice. Reminds me of donuts with sprinkles and this um, this lilac one as well. I really like it. Anyway, these are all the colours in the new collection. I don't think you can save 30% using my code at the moment because they've got a sale on. And if they've got a sale on, discount codes won't work. But if you're watching this after the sale, you can use code NATMUG30 and you'll save 30%. For this design, I'm going to do a very quick nail design. Um, I'm using Madame Glam's Blooming Gel. I haven't done a marble for a long time, so we're going to do a marble today. And I'm going to use these Nail Sugar Little, no, Lamb Cuties decals. I absolutely love them. You can save 10% on these using my code NATMUG10 over on Nail Sugar's website. And yeah, 30% on Madame Glam. Uh, the, the, the websites and discount codes are down below in my description box there's a link tree link you can find everything you need in there so for this i am putting i don't know why i've put so much gel polish on the palette because i'm literally doing a tiny marble on each of the nails and i put so much gel polish on <laughs> so you put like rows of gel polish on your palette i've got the this is the blooming gel that I'm putting. Just put a thin layer onto your nail. You don't need, you don't need masses. And then to scoop up the gel polish colours, I'm going to use my Madame Glam ombre brush because I like this for adding ombres. Look, I'm just going to scoop the colour up like that. Scoop. And then just if you're going to do this, float it over. You don't need to brush it on. You just need to float it over the blooming gel or into the blooming gel. And I'm going to bring that up a little bit there because I just, yeah, it felt like it needed a bit more. Um, at this point, I decided to run my dotting tool through the colours just to blend them a bit. And then I cleaned my brush and then I'm going to scoop another bit off the palette and float it onto the nail roughly where I want it. And I didn't get much blue, so I'm going to put a little bit more blue in the bottom there. And you can just leave them to, what's the word? Bloom. You can leave them to bloom so like that gel polish color will spread if you leave it i'm just adding the gel polish on this one you can't see very well in a minute i am going to go out of shot so i do zoom forward but that is it's basically the same process on all of the nails apart from you're putting the gel polish marble in a different place so for the decals, I'm going to cut off four of the little sheep. The smaller size sheep's lambs worked better for the size that I wanted. So I'm going to cut four different ones out. Cut around the design as well so this is all you've got left. And then I'm going to apply them using a stamper. If you've got a lint roller, you can roll that over your stamper and it just gets rid of any fluff. I need to do this more often. Sometimes I don't do it and I end up trying to pick the fluff off the nail. So place your decal upside down on your stamper. You want to grab some water. I've got my old cleanup brush that I'm going to use. I've just dipped it in some water and then you just dab the back of the decal. And that, if you watch, that's going to soak up that gel, that, not gel polish, that water. You see it disappears. I'm just going to add a little bit more on. You don't need to like drown the decal, but it does need to be saturated. And then after several seconds, the backing will just slide off like that. Now, because we're stamping onto a white background, we don't need to... Sometimes I like to colour in the decal with some white gel polish and cure it and then stamp it. But because we're doing look, the white background, the sheep just, just appears wonderfully on that. So that's great. I'm going to apply three more... Sh I keep calling them sheep. Three more lamb decals to the other nails as well. They're so cute. I love them. And then I'll just do the last one up here. There we go. So they've all, all four nails now have a little lamb. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Right, to finish them, we're going to top coat them. I am going to use the Velvet Matte Top Coat from Madame Glam. Madame Glam's Velvet Matte Top Coat is my favouritest matte top coat that I've used to date. I absolutely love it. So we're going to do that over all four of the nails. Pop it in the lamp for 30 seconds. And then I'm going to use Madame Glam's gold gel paint to finish this off. It just need, does need a, 
it did need a stir sorry so I did stir it before I used it but I'm using my detailer brush now and I'm gonna run a little bit of that gold gel paint through the the marble so it's kind of following the shape of the marble and I'm gonna do the same on all of the others just one single line kind of following this one's a bit awkward because it goes all over the place but we're just gonna do a gold line oh, i love madame glam's gold gel paint it's such a nice one wait till the end when i show you the nails at the very end and you can just i just i just can't stop looking at the gold gel paint it looks really nice in the light so once i've done them all i'll put them in a lamp and cure them for 60 seconds and i'm going to show you them now look look at the gold it's so nice anyway i hope you like these if you did please leave me a like if you do like this video you might also like these ones thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, bye.